Hey guys, Ash here from curseforward.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to unroot the HTC One. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do is click on uh, the link one in the download section in the description. That will take you to the HTC website and you, can, you need to download and install HTC Sync. Once you install HTC Sync, make sure that it's not running in the background. If it is, just end it. After that, link to will take you uh, to fastboot.zip. So download the zip file, unzip it to uh, C drive anywhere, and you will get this. This is link two. So once you've done that, just hold down volume and power on your HTC One, and you will boot into the bootloader mode. Just keep holding it. And there you go, we are in the bootloader mode. So right now, select fastboot. Okay, let me just adjust the focus. All right, select fastboot hit power and now connect your HTC One to the PC via a micro USB cable. Plugging in a cable into the PC of connecting the HTC One. And now you'll see that it says fastboot USB. You can leave it as it is. Okay, adjusting focus again. All right, so right now in this folder, the fastboot folder, hold shift, right click, select open command window here. All right, now type in fastboot, I'm sorry, space, G-E-T-V-A-R, space, version, hyphen, main, and hit enter. So right now you can see it says a version 1.29.401.13 that's my version so what you do now is click on link 3 from the download section right, right below the like button and that will take you to this page all right so over here this page actually so over here just select the one that corresponds to you uh, for me it is this one 1.29.401.13 so guys, this is a disadvantage with HTC devices. The RUUs are not available everywhere. Uh, say for example, with Samsung devices, for stock firmware, you, you have sammobile.com. We don't have a set, uh, set place for HTC devices. So as and when new sources are available, I will keep adding that uh, to the link three uh, as alternate uh, places, alternate sources to get your RUU files from. So. The RUU file can either be in the form of an .exe file or a .zip file. Let's get to that in a minute. So I've just downloaded it and uh, saved it. Okay, just a moment to the desktop. All right, so this is the .zip file that I've downloaded and saved. So right click and just paste it to the fastboot folder. So guys, what we are going to do first is we are going to go ahead and lock the bootloader. When you lock the bootloader, you're going to lose all the data on your phone. So go ahead and make sure you take a backup of everything that's on your phone before you continue. So again, going back to the command prompt, type in fastboot OEM lock. Uh, I know it says failed, don't worry about that, just run it again. And uh, if it says waiting for device, okay, there you go, it says device was already locked and on the HTC One, uh, adjusting focus again, you can see that it, the bootloader says relocked. All right, uh, so again guys, uh, just leave it as it is in the fast boot USB mode, leave it connected leave your HTC one so guys at any point if you get stuck at waiting for device click on link 4 in the download section in the description and that will take you to a separate uh, HTC driver so just get that install it reboot your PC and uh, run the commands again and you should be able to get through so guys if the RUU that, that you downloaded was a exe file instead of a zip file you just need to follow the on-screen instructions and your phone will get back get unrooted and back to stock uh, if it's in the form of a zip file, you can continue following this video. If it's a EXE file and you have any kind of questions, uh, I will leave a link below to my Android tutorial of my HTC One X. 
the method is the same. Uh, it's just following on st on screen instructions. Basically, if it's the if it's a exe file. So guys, if you are you use in the form of a zip, just rename it first. Just rename it to ruu dot ruu. So so guys, now in command prompt, type in fastboot. O E M reboot without a space capital R U U hit enter so right now this is what you will see on your HTC one you will get a black screen with uh, HTC with the HTC logo so now this means uh, you're ready to flash the R U U all right guys so now type in fast boot flash zip space r u u dot zip so that's the file that we have here in this folder we really this is the reason why we, rena we renamed it r u u so that we didn't have to type the whole uh, file name so hitting enter this will take a few minutes let's just wait for it so guys if you get this kind of error saying please please flush image again immediately just go ahead hit flash again so guys once it gets started you can see this on your this bar on your HTC one so just wait for it to complete uh, again like I said it'll take about 10 minutes I'll be back with you guys once it's done all right guys it's done once it's done just go ahead hit exit and we are done with the PC part of this uh, tutorial just need to wait for the HTC one to uh, boot back up so let me just just focus again All right, so now you can see uh, the tamper is gone. It says relocked instead of unlocked. Uh, so just use your volume keys, go down, select reboot. So now your HTC One will boot back up and this will be stock. So you're unrooted and uh, back on stock. So there you go, guys. I'm through setup and uh, that's pretty much it. If you're back on stock and uh, unrooted. So that's pretty much it for unrooting the HTC One. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries, feel free to hit us up at uh, cursforward.com slash forums. And if you want to root again, uh, click on the link uh, that's annotated onto this video or the one right below the like button. And that will take you to my tutorial on how to root the HTC One. So that's pretty much it for now. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'll be coming out with more videos for the HTC One and other Android devices. If you guys do have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. All links to my social networks can be found right below in the description. So once again, that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, it's Ash here from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.